Nicholas, we'll have to ask you, first of all, are you turning the telly on at 8am tomorrow? Well, I, I, I have to confess that at 8 a.m. tomorrow, I will be doing something else and unbreakable. That doesn't mean to say that it's a, a streaming service, isn't it? So I can catch up with it. And of course, you... I'll be watching it. There's no doubt about that at some stage. Yeah, a, a useful excuse if ever I heard. It. However, clearly, um, you know, they're, they're hoping that there's going to get a big audience to, to recoup the money that's been spent on it. But I, I just wonder, you know, have we seen it all in, in the, the trailers that have been released already? Well, no, I, I think it's very important. This has been discussed quite a bit, hasn't it? The, the trailers we see, exactly who made them, who had control over them, and what are they supposed to be showing us? In the newspapers the last few days, I've been struck particularly by the way that several correspondents, very, very skilled people at going through the history books extremely carefully, uh, have found all sorts of instances where pictures were used against other pictures, giving a rather false impression of what was going on. You know, Megan being mobbed. Well, actually, no, it was somebody else being mobbed. Uh, balcony scenes that weren't quite suspected. Uh, Megan and Harry, we just saw them walking away from a camera as if they were sort of being spied on. Yeah. Actually, that wasn't the truth, apparently. There is so much of that going on. So the trailers, we need to get into the meat of this. Uh, trailers are there to hook you, you know, and the, the idea is that you're going to sit down and go, ooh, right the way through. How accurate they've been, how accurate they're going to be over the whole story, only by sitting down, as you say, Mark, and watching it, are we going to know? Yeah, because, of course, obviously, uh, the, the, the trailer very often, it, it sort of cuts stuff around and, and mixes it up and so on. However, it's interesting that we're getting the message that um, Kensington Palace particularly is going to be watching and listening to the veracity of what's being said and an indication that they may indeed this time react, that they won't just keep their counsel. I would think they're going to have to react, frankly. Uh, we hear that this is the old story, oh, the king won't be watching, you know. Mm, really? We, we don't know about uh, uh, Camilla. Oh, excellent. I'm glad I said her name at that point because I bet she will be. Uh, the Prince of Wales, well, maybe he'll be busy doing something else. But, uh, of course, people will be watching and senior staff in the palace Two palaces, Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace, will be will be watching it, and then they will brief uh, their uh, people there, the royal members of the royal family, and the very very senior staff, and everybody will have a very clear idea exactly what has been said about what. Now, yeah. the I point, the interesting point, is the reaction next, which is what you're getting at. Yeah, and, and the, the difficulty being, of course, with these allegations about stories being leaked and planted and so on, that many of those staff can't go public and give what they believe to be the real story because they've had to sign these confidentiality agreements. Well, this related to the time when uh, Meghan and Harry were obviously in this country and there was an awful lot going on behind the scenes. An awful lot of people seem to have left Meghan's employ one way and another. And uh, a lot of them did have to sign confidentially, confidentiality agreements. And in the background, there were allegations that bullying was going on. It does make it all very difficult to get anywhere near the truth. The point about this series is that it is said to be the Wales's own truth. And that's going to be an extremely difficult difficult thing to unpick as we go along. Yeah, but we shall uh, be challenging you that uh, in a couple of days to, to come uh, after you've actually seen it and um, but inwardly digested, perhaps, is the phrase. But, Nicholas, for the moment, thank you very much indeed for joining us.